Hey, what's up, everybody? So this is going to be a Yuri's Revenge game, and Dune Patrol is the map. And so this is a good map. It's a small map. A lot of people like it because you know you could do more games than like if you do a larger map. You could just do more games and make sure like you get you know get your army up and get your army fighting and get your you know your money going, your miners going, your economy going, and just keep playing and playing. I mean, so I mean there is some like reason why some people prefer small maps over big maps most of the time or some more of the time anyway you see rival at the left uh, allied player he has two GIs that's usually a good idea um sometimes you go three dogs or you could go two dogs and two GIs and two dogs and one GI and this map or even if you want to be, if you want to be really, really stingy, you could just scout with one dog, really, and just put a real lot of effort into scouting with it. But one thing about this two GIs is you could use them for defense, even though not very good defense. It could be, you know, enough for fodder, or it could be like a decent defense. So you see the um. Allies is, I mean, the Soviet is starting to attack already. Oh, watch this. I think he could, yep. Because the drone actually um stops moving for a second after you, um, after the um, Chrono Miner mines back. Oh, look at that. See, when, when you, um, with the IVs, you're not supposed to wrestle with the Rhino tanks when you have the IVs because the IVs are going to lose every time. Oh, and he's tr still doing it. See, in this GI, as I said, they're not very good defense, but they can be a good defense, especially if they absorb damage from the Rhino tanks. Okay, now, now Allies is in a lot of trouble, but the only thing, but the, ooh, I said you're not supposed to wrestle with the, you're not supposed to take hits when you're, the IAP is just supposed to hit, run, and stay behind other units. And if you hit, run, hit, run, you could actually make a defense where it could delay the game to where Allies get stronger, builds up an air defense, or builds up tech after the lab or something like that. Oh wow. See and that's another thing about LA's build, he has so many miners. Almost he had too many miners. One of them died and he's still not in super bad shape, but he is under heavy attack. He might he could possibly lose the game if he loses a second miner. Okay, now that that looks like trouble. Should sell that pillbox. But Allies has a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of breathing room, but not a lot. Oh, that miner! Why isn't he controlling his miners? He's oh, he lost two miners. Is that game? Is that good game or not? We'll find out in a minute. So he definitely does not want to mine in the middle at all anymore. Okay, so he's getting more IVs up. Whoa, really bad really point. Come on, man. What are you doing? So, but the funny thing is, he blocked off his middle ore patch. He killed some miners. I think he, but it seems like the allies has a little bit of breathing room and he's not really dying right away. Okay, let's see if his power drops are going to mess him up. Is he going to leave his base wide open? Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god. Green, what the hell? Yeah, Green wasn't doing really bad. I mean, he didn't kill him, but I mean, he had him. He had him really pressured hard. Dude, get your miners over. He has to get his miners over to save the refinery. Try to run him over if you can. Oh, don't dump. Don't dump. Ah, if, if you dump when you're, when you're trying to shoot, the miner actually can't shoot when it's dumping. The miner actually can shoot for like two seconds when it's dumping. So he should have tried to run over the elite GI. So it looks like the green is screwed unless he could really, really do some major damage. Oh, and look, a battle fortress. Does not look good for the green now. Especially after I seen that battle fortress. I'm like, damn. How is he going to beat that with four tanks? The one prism tank. Yeah, green is toast. So his strategy, when he left, he should not have left his base wide open like that. 
Should have had a death later in his base or some sentry guns or something. Some kind of defense. But that's sometimes when you go 100% on their attack, you just leave yourself wide open. It's kind of like if you're blitzing in football, you, you, you sometimes you leave yourself right open for a 40 yard um, pass. You don't want to let that happen. And Green is practically toast. He's probably trying to make another refinery, but I don't even know if he has enough money. Just a better for just alone to kill his whole army. So I don't know what Yell's waiting for. He's dead. Okay, good game. Yellow wins. Watch out for the para drop. Now here's something you do not want to let happen to you. See, so I see. Um, I'm going for fast radar, fast IRD. And I'm thinking about sealing his machine shop because it's going to go into like an IFV or a grizzly tank rocketeer game. That's what usually happens in Alley vs. Alley. You put pressure each other. So I'm like, if I seal his machine shop, I'm going to own him because he's not going to have free gen on his rhino tank and his grizzly t sorry, grizzly tanks or his IFVs. I'm like, see you, buddy. And I'm not trying to seal it. I don't even have a good scout. It's hard to scout. On this map, good right away. So we're going to IV, then a um, miner from the War Factory. I'm like, oh crap! You know he's rushing. He's rushing. So okay, so I realized okay he's got four IVs already, and I don't have anything. <laughs> so this is one way to lose the game by letting this happen to you. Four IVs, five IVs. And I should really cancel this Rocketeers and go straight defense. But I'm thinking, you know, okay, I'm going to make the Grizzly Tanks and Pillboxes. And then, if I make him deploy... If I make him deploy his IVs with the Rocketeers, maybe it'll be a little bit easier. But this is just one way. Do not let in aggressive allies. You see, that's a good game right there. Do not let that happen to you. Watch... So let's watch the replay. So basically, if he's going to go for IRV rush, it's going to be a really hard rush. Sometimes even worse than a grizzly tank, grizzly tank rush. With the racketeers later on, of course. So I see, you know, five racketeers, and then you know, I'm busy making miners. All I have is miners, and he's going for a straight rush. So if this happens, you should basically go on on all out defense. But he must have went fast radar. So basically, my build order was really bad for this map. So. Basically, you should go either straight tanks or go one minor for more, but not go for an IRV or something like that. It's a good game. Watch out your build order on this map. Watch your build order on this map. Good game.